Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have some cool videos coming to this channel. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're not following me on all of my social media, it will be down below in the description box. So go check it out. Today I'm bringing to you guys a Get Ready With Me Fall Edition. Dun, 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 dun. Because it is fall. That is crazy. This year is going by so quick. We're going to enjoy this fall together by starting out with a Get Ready With Me. So pretty much we want to start out with naked skin. <sighs> Um, but I'm gonna be going in with my primer. The way I do it, I just like literally like squirt some all over my face. <laughs> I'm not an expert at makeup whatsoever. First, let's go in with Urban Decay. So the way I put this on is I literally just like squirt some on. And then I'm gonna use my sponge. As you guys can see, it's all torn up because I have a dog named Mocha. This is Mokiki. This is any normal beauty blender that's all put together and not in pieces. You just dab it in and smear all right, once you got your face on, I'm actually gonna put on this little kitty ears thing because my freaking hair is in my face. See, look at how cute. I'm just gonna take a towel and wipe my lips because, yeah. So after that, I am going to go in with my Fit Me Concealer and just conceal my dark eyes because I have dark eyes. <laughs> so this is what I do. I just make like a little triangle on my chin. Then I go in with the same beauty blender and then I just smeared away. I guess I shouldn't say smear. It's actually blend away. Next, I want to set my foundation. So I'm going in with my Tarte Loose Powder, the beauty brush. Then I'm going to use my Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. And I'm just going to go in with the same foundation brush and literally just set my makeup so it's not going anywhere. So now that I have my foundation done, I'm going to go in with my Benefit bronzer and use the brush that it comes with and then just give my cheekbones a little contour with my angled brush and I'm just going to blend it away there's really no secret to it I kind of just like go back and forth back and forth back and forth do like little circles so I do my eyebrows pretty dark I don't know if you guys can tell some of my Instagram pictures but I do them pretty dark so basically first step is I want to take a little spoon and just kind of brush out my eyebrows. I usually go up towards the center and then I kind of brush down. I'm going to be taking my Salon Perfect Brow Pomade and then I'm going to be taking an angled brush. I usually start on the top, kind of give it a nice little round shape, very lightly towards the middle. Then I kind of just blend it in upwards. This is the before, this is the after. So just repeat the steps for your second eyebrow. I'm going to go back in with my Bye Bye Pores and I'm going to just get like a lot on the brush just like that and put it underneath my eyes just in case if any of my eyeshadow drops it'll catch it okay so moving on to eyeshadow i'm gonna go and play morphe palette thanks honey you got it for me. and they are literally fall colors to the t like look at this first of all let me just say doing my eyeshadow i literally just layer and blend that is my secret i'm gonna go in with my morphe brush look like beige and i'm gonna start out with this color right here in the I don't tap off the excess because I'm gonna break my brush so I just blow it and then I'm gonna start out in my crease wow such a pretty color it's so pretty I'm gonna darken it up and I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this color that's right above it so same brush dip it a little blow it a little and here we go in the crease as well I like to keep everything in the crease and work its way up so like I said <laughs> Layer and blend. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 229 brush. Looks like that. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit lighter color. It's gonna be this guy right here. This one. And then I'm gonna put it on top of the crease, if that makes any sense. And then just kind of blend it into the eyebrow bone. And just kind of blend it upward. I'm gonna spice it up and go a little crazy. I'm gonna go in with this orange up here. Right here. All the colors are just so warm and fuzzy and cozy and I just, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna go in with this green color here and literally same thing, just put it on top of the crease and blend upwards. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe flat brush and I'm gonna go in with a light color, so I'm gonna do this white one over here, then literally just highlight your brow bone. Now I'm gonna get a little festive and I'm gonna go in with my Lexi 131 brush. It's like this. This one here. And I'm gonna do it underneath my eyes. Close as I can to my waterline. Wow, that's such a pigmented color. 
color! I'm only going halfway, just like that. Now I'm going to take my little brush and just wipe off all of my excess powder that I got sitting on my cheeks. Starters, I'm gonna do the inner of my eye. So I have this Ofra palette. There's like a few in there, but I really, really like this like cream highlight. So we're gonna go in with that one, and I'm just gonna be using my finger. Press it into the inner of your eye. We're gonna come back to the eyes because we need to do the blush first. So I'm gonna go with my blush. I'm gonna be using this one from MAC. And then just get the apple of your cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with this Ofra one. Looks like this, it's really orangey. Okay, so I'm taking my Morphe fan brush, just like this. And then just swipe it across. The last one I'm gonna go in is from Becca. Very, very fall-like, same as Ofra. So last little layer, I'm gonna literally light us up. And I'm gonna do a little on my nose, the tip of it. I know it like defeats the purpose, but I like to add glitter on top of my highlight. And this one is from Sally's. It's just body glitter. I put a little on the lid up there. Oh. Oh. oh my god. But then this one I just use my finger. I get too excited about glitter, as every girl ever should. And then I just dab on the highlight. Going in with my wet and wild eyeliner, and I'm just gonna give myself wings. So I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. And props to you if you could do eyeliner with one hand and get both of them straight looking amazing. Hands down, you're the best. Now I'm going to be doing my eyelashes. So I'm going in with the Super Sizer from CoverGirl. Line those lips, girl. So I like to go a little bit underneath my lips so my lips look a little more plump and I'm gonna go in with my Glam Glow Plump Lip Gloss. Then I'm gonna go in with my Becca highlighter just with my finger. And I'm going to highlight my little bow, I think that's called. Whatever. Voila! Take this off. I'm gonna show you guys a close up. Okay, this is what it looks like. We've got the eyes. We've got the shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. We've got the lips. Very glossy and plump. But anyways, I decided to create this for you guys because it's really soft, subtle, and fun, and shimmery, and it pulls all that into one. I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!